What's up everybody? CJ from On The Grow here, and today I'm gonna to be starting a new test with yellow peas. If you will look right here, this is the results of a different test of yellow peas that we did, which we have great growth on these tendrils, but the actual plant height isn't as tall as we would like them to be. And it also got a little wonky, like lopsided. I don't know what happened there, but it happened. So what we're gonna be doing is we're starting a new experiment to see if we can get better results and test out a few other factors while we're at it. So let's discuss the parameters of this test. I've soaked 250 grams of peas, of yellow peas per tray for 12 hours now. And I've gone ahead and seeded them directly into mesh trays. You'll see that there are no medium in either one of these. They are directly on a mesh tray. So what that means is these are gonna be uh, basically pulling water. They're, they're not gonna have something to sit there and hold water for them. So we're gonna have to stay on top of watering with these and make sure that we're missing these thoroughly twice a day at the very least. I've never tried this method before, so we're gonna see how it works. Um, the second thing that we're gonna be trying out is two different watering styles. So this one is a deep tray and this one is a shallow tray. The shallow tray is gonna be a Kratky style watering, which means we're gonna fill that reservoir below it full of water till the roots uh, and radicals are able to dip down into it and pull up the nutrients as needed. And then on this bottom watering side, we will come and fill up water every day, probably two cups of water twice a day uh, to make sure that these have plenty of water. The reason we're trying this out is uh, we've been liking the results with Kratky style, which is kind of like you fill up the reservoir and you don't have to worry about it for three days versus uh, this over here with bottom watering. You have to come back twice a day and make sure these have water or they will dry out and they will die. Um, so I think that's about, oh, that forgot last thing too about this test is that we're also going to be doing blackout domes on these. Uh, so we're going to keep these stacked for three days like we did with our previous test. And then after the three day period, what we're going to do is uh, put blackout domes to try to get these plants to grow a little bit taller uh, because I would like a little bit more height from these. Um, so that is the very last thing that we're going to be doing differently on this test. And they will both be getting uh, the same nutrient source, which will be a Farmer's Pride hydroponic solution uh, that will be mixed exactly the same for both of these so that we will keep that factor the same. That was a lot to explain. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get weight put onto this, put it on a shelf. We'll keep these misted and then I'll see you tomorrow and explain how that worked out. Or if it worked out very, very well, then I'm not going to say anything and I'm just going to show you what the plants look like. So this is day five for our yellow pea test and these guys have been blacked out now for two days. So I haven't looked this morning, so let's take a peek and see how they are looking. And our Kratky side is actually looking about the right length that I would like it to be. Uh, let's check here on the, oh wow, the bottom watering are even taller. Okay, so the bottom watering are almost too tall now. Uh, that's kind of exciting. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, leaving these blackout domes off, double checking all the waters, making sure everything is full of water. And then we're going to let these grow for an additional probably three to four days. Uh, we'll see. And then we'll get these harvested and compare the weights and what worked and what didn't work. All right, so we are on day nine for the Kratky versus bottom watering for the yellow peas. And the results from first glance seem like this is quite even. But with the Kratky, this is actually on a shallow tray. So this is sitting about two inches higher than the bottom watering is. So this is actually behind in growth. Something that we also noticed with the Kratky is once we introduced this to light, we started seeing a dip happening here in the middle where the growth wasn't growing as much as the sides were. So we have a bit of a stunt here in the middle, uh, kind of glancing just real quick at these roots. I mean, they are incredibly happy. 
So let's go ahead and get this moved over to, I'm gonna move this to a shallow tray real quick. Now, I mean, I was hoping this would drop down and you guys could see the height difference better, but the roots are actually holding it up higher. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get these harvested and we can compare weights. Okay, so we just finished harvesting the crack key size for the yellow pea and we are at 297 grams. So now on to the bottom watering. All right, so we just finished harvesting the bottom watering side and we have a total weight of 426 grams. We have finished harvesting both the crad key and the bottom watering trays. And to recap quickly for the crad key, uh, we had a total weight of 297 grams. For the bottom watering, we had a weight of 426 grams, which is 129 gram difference in favor of the bottom watering. So now let's talk quickly about what worked and what did not work. So one of the main components of this test was seeing can we grow without a medium. As you can see in here, there are mediums in neither of these. It's harder to see on this one because it's so dense but there is no growing medium. This is directly on a mesh tray, very similar to this guy. What also did work was bottom water. We had great results. It was quite easy and the root health looks incredible. What also did work was cracky. I mean, it did grow the peas. It just did not grow them as well. The reason I believe is I think these things were getting set up for long-term growth because they put a lot of energy into developing a beautiful, beautiful root structure. I believe bottom watering is definitely the way to go with peas because they put the energy actually into the stems and the leaf, uh, the actual harvestable product development versus the crack key where a lot of the energy was spent in the first few days putting out amazing root structures to pull up that water. Okay, so now we've talked about what has worked and what hasn't worked growth-wise for both of these. Let's quickly do a taste test so that we can see which is the actual tastier product because perhaps even though the Kratky did not put out as great growth, so this is the Kratky that we're tasting, uh, but what I'm trying to say is maybe because it didn't put out as great of growth, maybe it tastes better, so let's find out. So as for taste, I would say they're fairly comparable. I mean, both of them taste quite nice. They both taste like peas. I would say that the bottom watering was maybe less bitter, but it was, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it was incredibly similar. So, so <clears throat> winner for taste, I would say they both win. They both did really well in the taste factor. So overall winner, I'm going to say bottom watering. It was still very, very easy to use. Uh, you know, we came out and watered this once a day. What I've noticed with peas is if we put two and a half cups of water, maybe three cups of water in this for bottom watering, we don't have to worry about it for a day. So it's quite easy. Um, the crack key, I will say though, I mean, we, we added water every two to three days on it. So it's a lot easier to manage, but it just didn't provide the growth that I had hoped. So overall winner, again, I'm losing my train of thought here is the bottom watering of the yellow peas. We had great growth with it. Super easy, very healthy, great taste. All right, so that's about it for this test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I had a great time playing with this and seeing can we grow without a medium and comparing crab key to bottom watering to see which would provide the best results. Again, this is what we have found in this experiment. I strongly encourage anybody to do their own experiments. Don't just take our word for it. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We like to do a lot of experiments. So if you guys wanna follow more and see more experiments that we do, please follow us or, or hit the subscribe button rather. And if you would like to, we do daily posts on Instagram. Our Instagram page is at on the Grow Farms, and I hope to see you soon.